Hi there. This is going to be a quick video on how to set up uh, your iPage email address on your iPad or iPhone. Please make sure before you start this step, uh, you have an email address set up with the iPage dashboard. If you haven't, please visit your dashboard first. Create an email address. All you need for this specific step to set up the email address on your iPad or iPhone is the email address that you have created and the password that you have linked with it. So for that, the first thing we want to do is we want to go on settings. And once you're in settings, you want to look for an option. If you scroll down, it should be passwords and account. Now, if you're using an iPhone, you might have to scroll a bit uh, over here. I don't have to do that much. It's already here. Now you can click on add account over here. Once you're here, click on other option and click add mail account. Here, the name would be your name or your business name. I'm just going to enter Monarch over here just for reference purposes. I've created a demo email address that I'm going to be using in this example. For you, you have to enter your email address that you created with iPage. Same way for the password, the password is going to be the same one that you use to create this email address. So please make sure you remember your email address and password. If they don't match, you won't be able to go ahead with this step. Once that information has been entered, hit next. Make sure you, are, you have IMAP on over here or IMAP is highlighted. Uh, go down. Now you can see that the host name, username, and the hostname, username, and password options are blank right now. So we have to fill that up. For the incoming mail server, the hostname would be imap.ipage.com. The username is going to be your email address. The password over here for the first field is already entered, so I'm not gonna play with it. But for the second one, we do have to enter it again. For the outgoing mail server, it's smtp.ipage.com. The username is again going to be your email address. And the password is going to be your email address password. Once you've entered this information, so basically the incoming for the incoming mail server, the host name, the username, and for the outgoing mail server, host name, username, and password, hit next. And the system is going to try and verify this information for you. Once the information entered is verified, you will get on this kind of a page. Make sure the mail option is checked uh, so that the system can uh, access the mails for this email account and hit save. Once the email address have been saved, uh, go back to your mails and you should see your email account over here. And we can see that we already have one email over here. This was from my previous test. Now, if you wanna recheck the information and see if the mail is working, is setting, sending out and are received from your end, what you can do is you can compose an email to yourself. So that way we can check that the outgoing mail server works. The outgoing mail server is basically a system that sends an email from your device to whoever wants to receive it or whoever you want to send it. And the incoming mail server basically is a system that actually receives the email from your hosting or from your email address or your online email address to your device. So let's just compose an email and we're going to be sending it to us itself. I'm just simply writing it test to hit send. And we can see that it was actually successfully sent. So which means that the email did go out perfectly. And now let's just refresh.
and here we have our test two coming in so this is a very short video if you're having some issues with the email setup please let me know in the comments below or you can send me an email directly at my email address which is monarch at mwdesign.com and i should be able to help you out with your issues thanks for watching this video have a good day